Lake County. It's the Lake County Flash for Friday, February 4th, 2022. Here is your video news source for everything Oregon Outback. It's the Flash. LAS 13, a male wolf, has struck again and this time with a partner. After killing a number of calves in the Bly area, LAS 13 and OR 115 are responsible for killing an 800 pound, 11 month old heifer in the Summer Lake area in late January. Investigators from the Oregon Department of Fish and Wildlife estimated the attack occurred during the night of Monday, January 24th, with the heifer being discovered on Thursday, January 27th. In Bly, LAS 13 was acting on his own, but now he has been joined by OR 115, a female wolf. OR 115 was collared by ODFW in December, and the agency is waiting on the results of a blood draw to determine where it dispersed from. Both LAS-13 and OR-115 have been traveling together since December. Ranchers and farmers are encouraged to use non-lethal measures to deter wolves. With no exceptions being filed by the deadline on the proposed Obsidian Solar Facility in the Fort Rock area, the solar facility is now moving to its final steps. Next for Obsidian is getting a final order from the Oregon Energy Facility Siding Council, though a date has not been set for when it will come before the Siding Council. The earliest the final order could be issued is at the February meeting, currently scheduled for Thursday, February 24th and Friday, February 25th. The Siding Council can either accept, modify, or reject the ruling from the Administrative Law Judge when it is issuing its final order. Local families have an exciting opportunity as the Rotary Youth Exchange has been approved for the 2022 to 2023 year. This means families have the chance to host a foreign exchange student and in turn, a student from the local Rotary District can go abroad. As the program was just approved for the current year, the turnaround time is short and families interested in hosting a student should contact the Lakeview Rotary Club by Friday, February 18th. Long-term exchange students stay for about a year beginning in September. Two to three families would be needed to take turns hosting the long-term student. For the short-term exchange, the U.S. student would go abroad in July and both students would come to the host's home in August. For more information, contact Robbie McGowan at 339-225-2657. This Friday and Saturday night, February 4th and 5th, is the last chance to enjoy night skiing at Warner Canyon Ski Area from 5 to 9 p.m. each evening. Sponsors Pardue Construction and Peterson Cat of Klamath Falls help to bring in lights used at construction sites and set them across the ski area to light the runs. The price of night skiing is separate from season and day passes and must be purchased separately each evening. The price is $15 per person. The Warner Canyon Ski Area is located on Highway 140, approximately five miles east of Lakeview. For more information, visit warnercanyonski.com or call 541-947-5001. That does it for this week. Be sure to check out the online calendar to keep up with events happening around the county, catch a new flash every Friday, the Lake County Hotspot every Tuesday, and for these stories and much more, be sure to pick up the next copy of the Lake County Examiner. Ace Hardware has red hot eyes. Get a free Power Stack Starter Kit with the purchase of a DeWalt Bear Tool, a $149 value. Also, we can order the newly designed Weber Genesis Grill. It has advanced features including a grill, baker, and a stir fry on the expandable cook surface. Available for order and in-store pickup. Thank you for shopping local and thank you for shopping Ace. And don't forget, Ace is the place with the helpful hardware folks. Thank <laughs> you.